Okay, we have then two short statements uh, to read before I just introduce ourselves. Uh, my name is Lewis Baser, I'm the Detective Superintendent from the Metropolitan Police, and my colleague is James Collis, uh, Chief Superintendent here in Sussex Police. We'll just read out some short statements and obviously at the end we'll have to take some questions um, following uh, any questions you have following the statements we're about to make. So officers are continue, continuing the extensive searches for the missing baby of Constance Martin and Mark Gordon after they were located in Brighton last night. The pair were arrested in Stamford Villas at around 21.30 hours on Monday the 27th of February after a member of the public saw them in the shop in Hollingbury Place. I can confirm that they were initially arrested on suspicion of child neglect. I can now confirm that they have been further arrested on suspicion of gross negligence manslaughter and that they remain in custody at police stations in Sussex. The baby was not with them and we have not found the baby as yet. The police helicopter, sniffer dogs, thermal imaging cameras and drones are being used to assist officers on the ground. We currently have over 200 officers from multiple units across the Metropolitan Police and Sussex Police involved in the search. Throughout this investigation our key priority has been finding the baby and we remain committed to that. There is a significant amount of police search activity in open spaces to the north of Brighton near to where the couple were arrested last night. Before the arrest the last known sighting of the couple was in New Haven on Wednesday the 8th of January. I am therefore appealing to members of the public between Brighton and New Haven to report they may have seen some people sleeping. I'd also ask people living in these areas to report any suspicious behaviour Equally, if you are out walking in these areas and you discover something you think is pertinent to the investigation, please don't hesitate to contact us. No matter how insignificant it may seem, support from the public is vital and it is the support from the public that has been key to date in this investigation. We have received a large number of phone calls from members of the public during the investigation. I would like to thank everyone who has come forward with information and especially the person who quickly called the police last night after spotting Constance and Mark. Our colleagues from Sussex Police were on scene within minutes to make the arrest. We are very grateful for the support that they are providing and any information that could assist, I ask you to ring 999 immediately. I now hand over to my colleague. Thank you. So we are supporting the Metropolitan Police on this extensive search Thanks to the vigilance of a member of the public, our officers were on scene within minutes of the reporting sighting and made arrests. An immediate search was launched, including the National Police Air Service helicopter, drones, dog units and every available officer and staff member from across the force. These searches are ongoing and the public can expect to see an increased police presence in the area, as well as a dedicated response to any information from the public. We acknowledge that there may be some disruption to the people living and working in the area and we thank those people for their patience and understanding at this time. I'd like to thank the local community further for all the help they have given us so far. We have an extensive search area and will be in this community for some time. Some people may want to know what they can do to help. We just ask you to remain vigilant and please report anything of note to us. If you have any information that will support the search, please call 101 and in an emergency, please dial 999. We have dedicated call handlers available to talk with you. Thank you.